What's up, Xlight users? Welcome to another one of my short tips on doing the hidden features of Xlights. So, I recently saw a sequence that had multiple singing faces in the same virtual grid, and I wanted to know how to do it. And I finally learned, and I'm going to share that information with you guys. So, in this example, I currently have this is actually a television that I have a virtual grid that displays on 3x scheduler. That's relevant for this. So currently I have it set to um, Elsa. As you can see, she fills the whole prop up. Now let's say I want to have a second face. So I'm just going to insert another layer. And pardon any weirdness, my mouse is the index button on it's going stupid on me. So we'll copy and just paste the effect here. Now I have two faces. Center it. Uh, no differences because they're the same face. So we're going to make one of them be pink bulb with hat. And you can see that there is two faces. But you can't see them both. Well now what do you do? That's where layer settings render style comes in so i'm going to pick the top effect and where this panel is right here i'm going to right click on it and you'll see we have halves thirds quarters oversized edit and also there's uh an edit in here that if you go in here you can customize and your custom singing face can be controlled it in location on a per pixel basis. I've only actually seen this done once and it was for one way or another where they had all three Sanderson sisters and only their mouths were animated and the rest was just a background image. But the option is there for you if you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to go left half and there you go. She squished. Now I'm going to set the other face. Right click halves. Right now. All right. So now I have two faces. Now there are some caveats. What if I want one of these to be flipped? So I come over here and I say transition flip horizontal. Well, where'd it go? It's because it flips it after it does the resizing. So you actually, if you want to flip it, you actually have to say it's on the other side. So now I have it flipped and it's shown on the left. There you have it. And of course, you don't have to stop it too. I can make this one say uh, thirds, middle third. Or I could say thirds, bottom third. That doesn't look very well because the shape of the grid. But let's say right third. And then over here on this side, I can put, I could pick quarters and put her in the top left. Oh, right. I forgot that it's actually on the right, but I don't want to flip. So I'll just unflip it. All right. So I'll put her on the top left and we'll create ourselves another one. Paste that in there. And then that one will be something I have installed and I will put that one in quarters bottom left so let me line this up so it doesn't blink like that the selected effect is it plays all right so anyway you see I have three singing effects all in one virtual grid and that's how you do it Thanks for watching, and I hope to have more tips and tricks for you soon. John out.